Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today for my beginner tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet this duck. I'll be using eight ply wool, which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got my scissors, I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, I've got sewing thread to stitch it together and black cotton to embroider on the eye and also a sewing needle. I'll be starting on the body, so with my yellow I make a magic loop. So I hold my yarn up, put my hook on the yarn and bring the short end over the top of the hook, then take my long end over the top of the short end and I've got a circle, then I put my yarn around my hook and then take the hook and yarn through the circle from the back to the front and that's a magic loop. Now I work three chain. Now I'm going to work 12 double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook I put my hook with the yarn in through the circle from the front to the back. I pick up a loop, bring it back through the circle and I've got through three loops on my hook and then I put my yarn around my hook and then take my hook with my yarn through the first two loops and I've got two loops left and then I put my yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn through the next two loops. And that's a double crochet. So yarn around my hook, hook with the yarn in through the circle from the front to the back, pick up a loop and bring it back through the circle and I've got three loops, yarn around the hook and then take my hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn through two loops. Now I've got two double crochet, I need ten more. Now I've got my 12 double crochet worked into my circle. Now I'm going to pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the end bit and I just pull it to draw the circle in. I pull it as tight as I can and now I'm going to join my circle with a slip stitch. So I put my hook into the chain, the top chain here, just in through that stitch there and yarn around my hook and I bring my hook back through the chain and then through the stitch on my hook. And that's our first row complete. For row two we work three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as the chain, just into the top of the chain from the previous round where we worked our slip stitch. Now we're going to work two double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So we put our yarn around the hook 
and we put our hook in through the next stitch like that just through the stitch pick yarn around the hook and bring it back through the stitch then yarn around our hook and take our hook with our yarn through two stitches yarn around and hook with the yarn through the other two loops now we work one more double crochet into that same stitch now we work two double crochet into each of the next six stitches Into the next stitch we work one double crochet and one half double crochet. Now there's my double crochet. For my half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, I put it into the stitch and pick up a loop, bring it through and then put my yarn around the hook and then take the hook and yarn through all the loops on my hook. Into the next stitch we work a half double crochet and a single crochet. So another half double crochet, yarn around, put our hook in through the stitch and pick up a loop, yarn around and through all three loops. For a single crochet we just put our hook into the stitch without putting our yarn around and we pick up a loop and we've got two loops on our hook and then we put our yarn round and take it through the two loops. Into our next stitch we work a single crochet into the following stitch we work a single crochet and a half double crochet and into the last stitch we work a half double crochet and a double crochet. And then we join with a slip stitch in the third chain. So just in the top chain there. For row 3 we start with one chain and we work a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around and through two loops and the same in the next stitch. And then we do a slip stitch into the next stitch, just yarn into the stitch bring up a loop and take it through the loop and through the loop on our hook. Now we're going to work four chain and we'll be working a joined treble. A treble is called a double, uh, double treble in the UK. So we're working a joined treble over the next two stitches. So we put our yarn round our hook twice, put it into the same stitch as our chain 
and bring up a loop and then put our yarn around and take it through two loops a yarn around and take it through two more loops we've got two loops left on our hook now we put our yarn around our hook twice we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop we put our yarn around and through two loops yarn around through two loops and then our yarn around and through the three remaining loops and that's a joined treble and we'll fasten off now and that's the body and tail done I'll just weave in my ends to make it easier and then we'll work the head. Now I crochet the head on so I join my yarn in the sixth stitch from the tail. So this stitch here I put my hook into the stitch and make a loop and bring the loop in through the stitch. Now I work one chain. Now into the same stitch as the chain I'm going to work one half double crochet, one double crochet and one treble. So for a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, put my hook into that same stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around and through all loops. Now I work a double crochet, so yarn around hook into that same stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around, take it through two loops, yarn around through two loops. For a treble we put our yarn around twice, hook into the same stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around through two loops, yarn around, take it through two loops and yarn around through two loops. Into the next stitch we're going to work one treble, one double crochet, one half double crochet and a single crochet. So for a treble we put our yarn round twice, into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around through two loops, yarn around through two loops and yarn around through two loops. Then we work a double crochet into the same stitch. Next we work a half double crochet into that same stitch and then a single crochet. For a single crochet we don't put our yarn around our hook. And then we fasten off. And that's the duck's body head and tail done. I'll just weave in the ends to make it easier to crochet on the beak. For the beak I've got my orange wool and I join three stitches up from the neck. So this stitch here I just bring through a loop and I work three chain. Now I'm going to work a join double crochet over the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch. So I put my yarn around my hook, put my hook into the same stitch as a chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take it through two loops, then I put my yarn around my hook. I put my hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. I put my yarn around the hook, take it through two loops, yarn around the hook and take it through the three remaining loops. And then I fasten off. And that's the beak done. 
for the wing we make a magic loop and work three chain. We work seven double crochet into our circle. Then we work one half double crochet, then two treble, one half double crochet and one double crochet. Then we pull our circle tight. And slip stitch into our third chain, just up in there. and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the rest of my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. The first thing I'll do is embroider on the eye there. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now the eye's on. The next thing I do is attach the wing just in the centre there. That little pointy bit goes to the back and I only stitch it from about halfway just around the front bit just so this back bit can stick up a little bit. So I'll do that and I'll be back and show you the finished duck. And there's the finished duck. If you like my video please like, subscribe and share. We've also recently set up a Facebook group called Kerry's Crochet Corner where you can join up and put up pictures of your latest crocheting projects. We'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.